so hello i've been trying to film a day in the life video for the past week or so for some reason i don't like anything that i'm filming so i'm doing this for like a third fourth time and hoping that um i keep this one i just had a meeting usually my meetings run from like eight to ten and then i don't really have any more throughout the day yeah so i'm gonna have breakfast and then we'll see what else happens as the day goes on i also want to remove my disgusting nail polish I might go for a walk later gonna train do a little hit session with my trainer later um do some yoga uh ba -ba -ba -ba, what else how's that see and then see what else the day brings us gonna have some cheerio. So I've been trying to have like bigger breakfasts so I can have lunch a bit later because I usually have lunch about 1, 30. So I try to have like a big breakfast. So today on the menu is toast, some Cheerios. I always add um, this fucker. I add loads of whey to my, um, to my cereal because I'm trying to get the extra protein in these dark times. It's quite hard to get with me, so I had like a massive scoop. I use, I have the uh, vanilla ice cream flavor. We have so many, <laughs> my mom gets so annoyed because we have so many in my um, cupboard, but we always repurpose them. There's like three, there's like three containers in um, my cupboard and then i have like three other ones from a different brand and my mom just repurposes them for like rice she puts rice in them or like peanuts not a massive fan of like regular milk so i'm gonna have oat milk with my cereal today that's all i have at the moment oh my gosh i forgot that oh i put, forgot to put the cereal first no fucking up This is, this is literally all I watch. I just watch Animal Crossing Island. Oh. So that's. Uh, what's my life become? When we come back, we'll be talking to Lisa, who thinks two beds might be better than one. Be right back on hard work. Your next caller is 40. I know. That's why I never talk to her. She hooked me up with this gig and I just stay out of her way. That's good. It's fun, what's, what's wrong with your phone, man? I've been checking it all day, but uh, she'll text, man. Don't worry about it. I go the other way before, you know, I'll end up like texting so much I end up sending like a fucking book to somebody. And that's never good. That's nothing dries up a vagina more than a paragraph, man. Yeah. <laughs> Got a bit cold, so I popped on the hoodie. Um, I feel like Kenny from South Park in this. So, a lot of people ask me what is that I actually do and I've described it in a previous video in my, when I went to Berlin for a day, you can see it in the eye if you want to check it out. Um, but recently a lot of what I've been doing is like Excel spreadsheets, it's just, it's just I just look at spreadsheets all day sometimes and just literally write if something passes or fails and um it can be very very laborious and sometimes i want to stab myself in the face but you know gotta keep going but yeah i usually get most of my work done by about lunch time by about 12 so for the rest of the day i don't really have much to do unless someone asks for something but yeah been a lot of looking at spreadsheets and just waiting for people to complete things and replying to emails and <laughs> it's a bit drab I need to find something a bit more 
exciting to do on the side. I don't know, I've been thinking of so many different things I'd like to do, but it's just having the commitment to do it. YouTube being one of them, just, I don't know, it's one of those things. About to have my hip workout, have a little Zoom meeting, so I'm gonna do that in like two minutes. Did a little hit and then I did yoga right after. I'm on day 20 of um, yoga with Adrian's yoga thing, <laughs> um, the 30 day yoga, which is pretty good for me. Consistently did it every day. Um, I'm sore as shit, but I just definitely feel really good. I feel like it's helped me stay sane. So that's always good. I'm gonna have lunch now. Um, I've been having a lot of like fried eggs and I keep getting it well, like good sometimes, but today is a fail, which is sad. I mean, look, <sighs> it went all wonky. Looks really weird, but I'm um, still gonna eat obviously. And then this is sea bass and then some rice and some spinach. So that's my lunch. Um, I also got a weird package. I always order things. This is really heavy. I don't know. Ah, it's from Nubia. That's what it is. Oh, that's cute. I was wondering what the fuck it was. We'll open that later. Been watching Cowboy Bebop for. Uh, uh, when did I start it? I started it last night. I started it so many times over the years, but I realised I always started it subbed in Japanese, but it sounds so much better when it's dubbed, for once there's an anime, except like Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z is one of the only animes that sounds good dubbed. Naruto a bit as well, and um, now Cowboy Bebop sounds much better dubbed than it does subbed in my opinion, so I've been able to watch quite a bit more of it, so I'm on episode 6 now. It's pretty good, I can see why it's so, it's always top of every person's anime list, and now I can see the appeal, so yeah. I'm gonna watch a cheeky bit of that and see if I have any work left to do. I just if not, then I'm just gonna probably do a bit of like training and stuff. Fun times! Uh, I see. Yes, I can find a diet blast. Uh, I feel so heavy. Uh, but I feel, I finally feel it. Okay, first thing I've got, some shea butter. Because I ran out of cream. So it looks like. She put in this cute jar, very nice. I like. Should have got the orange blossom. She has like an orange blossom version. Ooh, it's very soft. Usually it's really hard. And um, but it's really good for everything. Basically, I ran out of um moisturizer in general. I usually get my moisturizer from Lush, but I was like you can't go wrong with shea butter, can ya? I'm a sucker for candles. I love candles a lot. Um, anything that smells good, I am all for. So, I got the original candle. So it's like. The packaging's beautiful. Let's see what it smells like. Oh, yes, I'm here for it. It's very citrusy. Oh, citrus. I love me some citrus. That's real good. So thanks, Barbs, for all of that. It's real cute. And we're gonna no longer be dry because being inside makes you hella dry. So it's gonna be moisturized, and my room's gonna be smelling like the inside of a lemon, which is oh fabulous. Good. Oh, it's a bit soapy too. Yes, I'm for this. This is lovely. I'll leave the um, the link to leave your beauty stuff. In the description below and Barbara who owns Nubia Beauty she does it she has a YouTube channel she keeps saying she's gonna put stuff up so I'll leave that down below as well but yeah definitely go on to her site check out the stuff she had she does like beauty services and stuff um, she does like waxing lashes uh, make facials and stuff so once quarantine is over everyone's gonna be looking like a bush rat so it's the perfect time if you're in like the South London area to um, get yourself some treatments. So go on over there and 
check out her website and stuff. She has all sorts of cool stuff, so yeah. This is my island. This is me. Hi, hello. Let me. Uh, uh, um. Hello. <laughs> Wearing a cute little springtime outfit, little bonjour shirt with some shorts and some converses. Um, my island's called Gotham. <laughs> I don't know. I just the name came to me. Um, I don't know why that's growing there, but this is it as it stands. I haven't finished doing everything yet. This is uh, the Penguin Cafe, as you can see. Uh, I put a little sign there saying the Penguin Cafe. And because, you know, Penguin Gotham, <laughs> I'm going to have more stuff um, as I go. I had to pay to move all the, um, all my houses over to this other side. So again, I still have to, oh, hello. Hello, hi. All right. Okay, <laughs> see you later. So yeah, I've moved all the houses over to this side. Um, I have about, how many islands do I have? One island, did you know? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I've about seven villages. Islanders, whatever you want to refer to them as. Um, down here have the little Able Sisters, got the museum, got a little popcorn candle frosting, dry the museum, um, got Nook's Cranny up here, and this is like a little park area, then there's a little flower thingy bob bob thingy bob. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Um, this is my house. And um, yeah. I might do like a separate cute video once I've like finished seeing my forehead <laughs> once I've finished um, making it all pretty and stuff because you can't really see much this is not the best quality but uh, I'm trying this is my living room and then over here I don't come in this room very much but they don't this is essentially the like playroom or like game room got like the game go and then there's a science kit and a magazine and an inflatable chair and a guitar and cute walls and shit and plants and stuff and yeah I'm trying to build up my kitchen but it's really hard you got my protein there you got a little TV player some of the vinyls up there got a tool area but yeah that's it as it stands and then this is my bedroom my bedroom I changed the wallpapers the other day because I wanted something a bit more simple um, I had like fire wallpaper um, but yeah I changed it to this cute blue one there's a little bathroom with a sink and a bath and sheet and a toilet and my bed and then a wardrobe and my mini mirror I need a bigger one but yeah that's my house as it stands um, I was constructing stuff that's why I'm wearing a little hat but um I might do a separate video, we'll see, I don't know. But yeah, that's me. <laughs> I love this game. Going out to get some stuff for the first time in a while. A little, had a shower. Um, it's really nice. Shit butter that I bought is really nice. Um, I mix it with another cream so it smells less sheer buttery. Yeah, so I'm gonna go. I just want some snacks, you know. Now, a bit later in the day, the light's a bit mad, but. That's all right. I got another package. Ooh. And I got it from a shop called Notebook Therapy. Literally saw it on Instagram. I ordered like stickers and stuff as well. But that's all right. That's okay. That's what it looks like. I got a humidifier, as you do. It's a cactus soft light and humidifier. 
which I've wanted a humidifier for the longest time and I saw a really cute one so I was like fuck it let me buy Ooh, it's really small oh gosh I've broken it Ooh. why is it it smells like vodka that is this is what it looks like there you go look at that do not add perfume or essence <sighs> that's what I wanted to do fam so there's a little cotton thing I think I have to soak and then the water goes in there I guess oh Hello. It's like a tampon. <laughs> my mind. So I'm just gonna plug it into my PC over there and see how it works. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> I'm such a twat. There it is. Very nice. Very, very cute. Now about 10 past 10. I'm about to get cozy, get into bed. I was trying to put all my stuff away, my phone at least, at about half 10. Do like my last little things. And then I'll usually play my Switch. Oh, I'll show my tits. Play my switch into the night. Um, or read. Reading usually sends me to sleep quite easily, which sounds awful. Right now, I'm reading The Promised Neverland, which is an amazing anime that I watched at the beginning of last year, and I decided to start reading it this year. Phenomenal. Like, one of the best things I've read in a very long time. It's just it escalates. If you've watched The Promise Everland, you'll know how mad it is. It just, the manga, I just, I can't, I gave in. It comes out, I think, mid, like October or something, but I couldn't help myself. So I read it and it's been really good. So I'm reading that. And I'm trying to find more like non fiction y self help books, which I'm never really into. I like a bit of fiction. I never really read those like inspirational books a lot and I'm trying to change that because I think I need a bit of, a bit of inspiration in my life so I'll probably get one off Audible because I have a credit. I love, I use Audible all the time and the great thing about Audible is that um, if you're not really feeling a book or you're like a bit through it you can return them and um, get your credit back and get another one which is really cool which has happened to me a couple of times but yeah I have a lot of books on Audible actually Jesus I have all the Harry Potter books and um, just loads of like weird little I listen to a lot of like thrillers and stuff like short stories and stuff thank you for watching I hope that you enjoyed spending a bit of time with me i hope that you are well and keeping sane in these weird weird times it's a really good time to just like self-reflect and um just think about life i guess real deeply i've been doing a lot of deep thinking and just because things like this will probably happen like once in a lifetime um it doesn't happen often and there's not really a time when you're just stuck in your home but you have to see it as more of a positive in that even though this is a really strange time and there will be days where you just feel stuck and awful and you just want to get out or you just want to do nothing that's cool like that's allowed but yeah I hope that you're not suffering too much and you're just finding ways to fill your day and sometimes you won't and that's cool too but yeah that's it. So I'll see you soon in my next video. If you like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and share and such. And yeah, I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!